Here we are amidst the dense forest and rolling hills of Spielberg in Austria, just two hours out of Vienna. It's an amazing destination for the race today, and we're about to get started. Spielberg is a short lap, just 10 corners, seven rights and three lefts, making up a total distance of 2.6 miles. Now, the wet conditions today are going to make the cars a bit skittish, especially through those downhill sections. Watch out for the cars running wide, especially through that last corner. I'm, we are nearly ready for the start of today's race, but in the meantime, let's take a look at the grid. Iceman lines up on pole position with Jordan King alongside. Looking down the rest of the grid, we have Aitken, Eilot, Nobuharu Matsushita, Anne Latifi, Joe, Correa, Mazepin, Dorian Boccalacci, Hubert, Tete Camera, Giuliano Alesi, and Schumacher, De Vries, Giotto, Calderon, and Louis Delatraz. Rag Hunathan and Sean Galeal completes the grid. And with lights out just moments away, it's time to go down to the track. Now that we've got some points on the board, let's continue this form and aim for another top 10 finish. What's going on, everybody? Welcome back to another episode of F1 2020 Career Mode, uh, where we start in F2 and we work our way up to F1. So, we are in good old Austria at the Red Bull Circuit. I'm quite familiar with the circuit, actually. I've played it lots on GT Sport, uh, so I kind of know where my lines are, my braking lines. So, that's why we are... Qualified in first place by a good six tenths up, uh, which is great. Uh, but that was done in the dry on super soft. So now we're in full wets, and we all know my wet experience. Uh, and if you look back at Baku a couple episodes ago, that wasn't so great. So our race strategy: what is it? We have two stints of uh, wet tires at ten laps. It's going to be raining the whole session long. That should be fun. Well, without further ado, let's uh, get in here and see if we can set a decent uh, lap time, maybe, in, in wet. Bit of a slow start there, didn't want to spin the wheels too much. Oh, damage already! These guys are going crazy. Luckily we got out of there unscathed, which is great. Ooh, I didn't see what happened to Iken there. He totally just wiped out. Ooh, that understeer in the wet. Now let's hope we can do a bit better than we did in uh, Baku under these kind of conditions. Understeer is legit. The track is so wet though, holy. I gotta stay on that line. Get the racing line so I can get somewhat, somewhat of a, a grip line. Uh, this corner is going to be definitely going to be fun. Going wide, uh, going wide. Just a little bit too far. Gotta watch those turns. Burn King is at 132. Oh, we really got caught up there anyway, so it's not our fault. A bit of a slide in that corner. Okay, we lost the position. Try to keep focus. I thought this race would be a bit uneventful, but when I noticed that it's going to be wet, I'm like, oh, this is not going to be fun. Is already five second heads ahead. Six 
Can I grit? Okay, so he's running third gear through there. For sure. Oh, Jordan King's doing 127. That's three seconds above what I'm doing right now. King has the lead. Losing a lot of time in that first corner. Catch the TV. He's 2.1 seconds ahead of us. I wonder in these conditions if we can. Spin there. Now I got re rendered there. My back tire wear is just next level. Gotta keep those spins down to a minimum. Pulling away a little bit. Found five corners. I mean, five laps before we kind of got that corner down in check. a bit again as well. Oh, going wide in this weather is not going to be fun. I don't think the track is clear. Green flag. Hitting Schumacher there was uh, totally my fault well okay hitting him was my fault but looks like uh, so I was really tailing him there 
uh, and then he whipped out a little bit, and that happened. I'm trying to come right back. I gotta try to win that place back. I honestly thought I was gonna hit my front wing against them. My best, so my best now has been 129, and probably that's within that's probably within the first couple laps. We're trailing our teammate by 6.0 seconds. Thirty percent way on the back. We'll be seeing at least twenty minutes of light rain. At least twenty minutes, wow. So I'm definitely getting a bit more grip than they are in those uh, first corner, or well, the downhill stretches. Two laps until our pit window opens. We're going to put you on the full wet tire. Kind of ran him off the track and not the smartest thing to do. Come on, let's catch down. Yeah, my teammate is definitely better than me in uh, during wet stretch stints, and I'm better than him in usually in the dry stints. So. Yeah, my least on my front lip caught onto his back bumper a little bit there. Come 
lots of understeer there. And I also think I'm braked a little bit too late. this lamp, push hard on the inner lamp. Let's go, let's go, let's go, let's push. It's a little bump here, it disturbs the car so much. So 10 laps and our tires are almost 50%, 43%. So let's say 45. Mm -hmm. Oh, okay. Wing repair. Okay, I step laps down. We're eighth place. As we're top ten, so we'll still get points. Uh, so far, we get another ten laps. Hopefully, we can redeem ourselves in uh, when it comes to the sprint race. I believe that's going to be dry in the next episode. But we'll see. Okay, go. It's in now. You'll be racing as you leave the pits. Complete. Go now. Up to speed now. Let's get some heat into those tires. Let's go on the grip levels part. Driver in front. Pilot is ahead of you. Our gap to the car in front is 2.2 seconds. They're on old wets. Their tires are five laps old. We think they've got one more stop. The time last lap was a 1 minute 27.8. Ooh, I lost fast. Giuliano is coming in for his stop. His last lap was 1.27. People leaving the pits right now. So we'll be up to oh, we're okay, back. The gap behind is four eight five seconds. We're back up to our eighth place anyway.
Uh, Jordan King set another fastest time, 126. Oh, that's fast. Okay, so we've got a 127. 6.2 seconds. I want to keep that open to see when I'm starting to slip. So you can just tell it by the temperature. So I saw him shoot up about two degrees when I was in second gear, so. And then they go up again. 67 degrees, A little bit slower there. I think this we're pretty, pretty much we're racing Ilot here. Stay with us for at least 20 minutes, maybe more. Light rain is here to stay. Oh, a little bit of power slide there. A little bit too much. Yeah, lost, lots, lost. Lots of time there. I know we're usually faster in the downhill section. Late turn in. Pulls up down by two tenths, then we will lost a little bit. Ilot's really pushing those. Ooh, fastest time, how? I guess slipstream. I 
guess I was in the slipstream, that's why. Um, yeah, I love really pushing the edges of our track, so I gotta see up this line a little bit. I lot you're pulling away so fast, holy. Oh yeah, he's going into the pits. Okay, let's go have some clean air. Let's see, 6.8 seconds away, okay. Well, that's, that's way too far for four laps. Let's go, let's go, let's go. Ooh, running wide. Hubert has just put up the fastest lap of the race so far. 20, too much of a cut. Well, let's see if I get this a little bit faster lap time or not. So for a second the sector was green and see what we can do with the second second sector here. Jordan King 126.5. Mm -hmm. Unless he's out, no! It's our teammate. Uh -huh, second sector is too slow. Green okay. flag, green flag, we're racing again. Still about a second away from the leaders. The car behind is dropping back by about three tenths a lap. All well, two laps left to go on how our tires. Yeah, they're not the greatest. Dropped out of the race. 
It's on me to get some points now. Yeah, second sight I just can get her in the on the in the wet. This will be starting near the top on the sprint race. Well, kind of in the top. We'll be fourth place. So two up from where we are now. Final this lap. is your final lap. Final lap of the race. Jordan King's got the win. Ooh, that leg, 126.4. That's the end of the race. We'll see you in Ooh, the Seventh place, okay. I thought we were. S oh no, uh, Hubert was six. Oh, we dropped six places. Well, that may not have been the finest race in history, but there's no question that was a critical win. Yeah, that was a critical win for him for sure. Okay. Davide, what do you think made? Our drivers are making their way out for the podium celebrations, and it's going to be MP Motorsport. MP Motorsports. What are, where are we at now for standing now, so far? let's take a look at the driver's stats. The gap at the top of the championship has been cut down after a difficult race for our championship leader. Now then, Davide Valsecchi, who would you say was your driver of the day? Very difficult, but I'll say Jordan King. He's cool under pressure, and he made the most of a difficult race today. And so he started second, the and then first, and he's a driver there. Man. Lose ground at the top of the table. There was also a strong showing from the MP Motorsport team today as they make their way up the standings. Okay, so uh, I'm still fourth. This time. Jordan King went up. Today, but the standings, today, Trident, we're still leading. The edge, I think. Goodbye for now, then. But we really are just getting and people started. Make sure up, so. join us again for Lights Out tomorrow. All right. Thanks, everybody, for checking out this uh, this episode, this race of ours. Uh, tune, in, tune in tomorrow for episode two for the sprint race of the Red Bull Circuit in good old Austria. If you liked the video, hit the like button, hit the subscribe button, hit the notification bell icon, just so that you know when these videos are coming out. And we'll talk to you guys in the next video.